He gives all his stuff in. It's easy yeah, to do it officially. Letters. True. True, and it has to be a pay phone. That's true. It is. Director <laughs> Knight. Hello, Brian. It's Candace. Hey, what's going on, Candace? What's going on? I, um... How is this doing? Candace? It is Candace, yes, it is. Okay. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Unknown number and all. Yeah, sorry. I, yeah, honestly, I don't know why I use a pay phone, but I'm going to use one anyway. Um... Sorry to see you leave. That's the first thing, I guess. And second thing is, I was just, uh, just a heads up. Have you, have you given, uh, have you handed in all your PD equipment? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, the, uh, I, uh, all the equipment's uh, in. Uh, the remainder of what I had was a, uh, what is it? The FN? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And the badge, uh, both mm -hmm. of which I placed with uh, the SDSO individual, like the one behind the desk. Okay, perfect. That's good. Just because I I don't know. Honestly, I don't know everything you've done, Brian, but you you seem to rub pe a lot of people up the wrong way. Um, when I'm giving them the information that you've left, uh, some of the responses are kind of surprising me. Oh, I'm not surprised. Uh, no, I doubt you are. I, but uh, I'm kind of unaware. But um, I can just foresee people trying to capitalize on anything they can and uh i just mm. don't want to see you get raided or you know something dumb oh they oh no i've i uh anyway, they were i, I know it got seven minutes but i'm gonna give you sort of the grand sc uh, scope of things okay um first off i respect everything that you've done candace everything that you continue to do i think you're one of the strongest members of command that we have and i think uh more i hope more people come to realize that um Thank you. That means a lot. The wow. UPD has become a shell of what, what it once was. Uh, yes. I signed up to serve and protect the people of Los Santos, whether it's someone asking for distress in a 911 or whether it means uh, passing on the evidence uh, to those in authority to make those hard decisions, such as going to war with Sanguine. Mm -hmm. uh, from the very precipice of the start of this entire thing, uh, myself and Axel um, were working on behalf of not just the Senate, uh, but also on behalf of other members of high command. Uh, they were aware of the entirety of the operation that spanned four to five months, many of which spawned off many of the court cases that seem like they may be isolated, but they're all related. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, due to the lack of communication among high command, none of them uh, even, you know, decided to ask any questions and it wasn't until decisions were made did they begin to kick back with uh, concerns, commentary, criticism, which is counterintuitive mm -hmm. to any sort of preactive work. Uh, this kind of stemmed from the what we should not have labeled as negotiations as we had four to five negotiations, including one that happened days prior to the one up on the ship. Mm -hmm. Um what followed that was a, um, a, uh, the debrief, which I'm sure many have heard of, where someone supposedly got hooed, where mm -hmm. I don't know if you were present, but I think the intent, and I think it was rather clear, um, was more a question of someone asking, hey, highest member of the police department, we need proof that the Senate actually gave you these orders and you're just not making shit up. And the question being raised was a hypothetical or a, um, you know, was a uh, rhetorical of, do you know what chain of command is? Uh, the room was filled with uh, questions that were, in my opinion, pretty um, malicious, mm -hmm. uh, including Moosebeard, who was more or less complaining that he didn't get to lead the negotiations and he knew nothing about it despite being present in three command meetings where he had all the information present. It was very uh, bad faith. Unfortunately, due to the lack of a backbone of the Commissioner Axel, he forego go all further decisions, which then got placed in the hands of one individual who had zero context with everything leading up, and a second individual who actually sympathized with the island. Mm -hmm. uh, Candace, uh, everyone has been in the dark. 
We actually yeah. planned on uh, involving the public, and we were stopped. Uh, Ursula was with us on day one, prior to oh. the negotiations, uh, as was Nancy Drew, who's going to provide a stage for us to garner the public. High Command decided against it. They mm -hmm. uh, chained me down. They chained Axel down. What we found on that islands were weapons of medium destruction, all tying back to RPG and bomb attacks. Uh -huh. uh, or since April. Yep. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, I have evidence of not just judges, but also members of high command communicating with people within Bolingbrook Penitentiary, sympathizing with them and communicating with me through third party. I want to ask you something, Candace. How do I stand as a representative of the UPD when I'm watching my detectives get their all their work smeared not spoken to for days on end. And even with the looming threats, which you'll learn about hopefully soon, mm -hmm. um, all focus was on me and Axel and what we may have done wrong mm -hmm. instead of moving on and asking, when are the next series of bombs going to go off? And they will. Yep. I'm trying to, I know there's probably a million questions rushing through your mind. Yep. But. <laughs> At the end of my two-hour panel, I was as transparent as I could be, right? I could have just given them a fuck you and turned my badge in, but uh -huh. I gave an opportunity. And as, as I stood there, I asked my question, number one, how, are you going to protect the detectives for the way that they were treated the last two weeks? Mm -hmm. You may hate me, but why did you take it out on them? Mm -hmm. No answer. They didn't find any fault. The second was, would you ever uprise against the government? Mm -hmm. No answer. Wait, that was I, to the panel? Yes. They refused to answer the two questions that were my, I wasn't, it wasn't just an interview as to whether they wanted me. For me, it was a matter of whether I wanted to remain in the UPD. So for now I decided um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, resign and mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna expose the truth because the people need to know what happened over there. Yeah. Wow. That was, uh, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, trust me when, when this stuff comes out, you'll be utterly shocked. They didn't even read my fucking SOPs that they were complaining about for a month. Ah. Not even the summary. Candace. Classic. Yeah. Mm. It uh, seems to be the case a lot of the time. It's communication and lack of knowledge that people will uh, base their facts on. Quote unquote facts. Well, they're about to see uh, another level of communication. Damn. Candace, uh, I'm always available anytime mm -hmm. you want to talk. Uh, have any, you know, questions about what happened, whatever it may be. Um, and also my uh, running for Senate, so. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing how that goes. Thank you for that, and I, I'm, I would like to catch up soon for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> you take care. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> how did this man? just have 10 minutes and have a fully like rehearsed speech just at the drop of a hat <laughs> and finishing it at the perfect time what <laughs> it was like seven minutes Dude, I couldn't do that though. Uh, that's that was um Yeah, he goes, also, I'm running for Senate. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it take me like an hour to honestly I was just <laughs> I was also trying to like really focus too. I was like <laughs> I I just wanted to tell him about the raid stuff. I was a bit stunned locked there. I was like, okay, and now I need now I need to now I need to gather this information dump that you're giving me right now. <laughs>